My name is Dr. Daniel Mazur. I'm one of the partners here at Urology Associates. Uh, my main focus is male infertility, and I also do what's called andrology and men's sexual health. Male infertility is a subspecialty of urology. Uh, many people don't receive a lot of uh, training in male infertility during their residency. Uh, the specialists in male infertility, we seek a fellowship uh, to do additional training uh, to take care of the infertile male. Male infertility is a much more common problem than people think. The World Health Organization estimates that about 9% of couples suffer from fertility issues. And what a lot of people don't realize is up to half of those may have a male component. Male infertility can involve many different aspects, including prior medical conditions, medications that can affect it, but also there can be some genetic or congenital conditions that people were born with that can affect their fertility. Part of what we do in the workup of male infertility is to try and to find issues to improve men's fertility, which includes both medical and sometimes surgical care. The first step in assessing the uh, infertile male is a very thorough history and physical examination. The main work of the infertile male is based off the semen analysis, but it can branch many different ways depending what is going on in that individual. Sometimes we can focus on medical therapy to try to improve a man's fertility. Uh, with the advent of assisted reproductive technology, people know that generally as in vitro fertilization or even insemination procedures, uh, we can generally accomplish a lot more for some males. Sometimes this does involve surgical procedures. Many of the surgical procedures involve microscopic surgery, which requires specialized training to become proficient in. Uh, these include uh, microscopic sperm retrieval procedures and also procedures such as varicocele repairs or even uh, vasectomy reversals. Some procedures we do here at Urology Associates and some procedures we do at fertility centers uh, depending on the situation. Even when there are conditions where a man does not have any sperm in the ejaculate, sometimes there are certain things we can do uh, to try and find sperm. This may involve trying to relieve a blockage that a man may have developed or been born with, or sometimes we can actually go in with a microscope into the testicle and surgically look for sperm. Uh, this makes certain options such as in vitro fertilization possible uh, where a man thought there was potentially no options based on the semen analysis. Additionally, there are other surgeries we can perform for a common condition such as varicoceles or a varicose vein in the scrotum, which can lower a man's count and motility. This is a common issue and repairing that surgically can sometimes improve those parameters as well. Additionally, you see a lot of men who use hormone therapy, particularly testosterone therapy, which can actually suppress sperm counts. Uh, this is one of the most common things we see and we can definitely help with improving uh, semen parameters on a man on testosterone. Uh, on an infertility workup, sometimes people focus just on semen parameters, but it's also important to consider and talk to the men about his overall sexual health, uh, including his sexual performance and erectile dysfunction issues. These are all wrapped up into the overall health of the male. Uh, additionally, uh, some infertile males may be at increased risk of certain health conditions, so it's important that the provider knows about these and can help screen a man for some of these conditions. When I was in training, I got to experience a urology rotation and seeing a couple that was able to experience a pregnancy and have a child when they thought it was never possible uh, was a very heartwarming uh, and motivating experience for me to pursue this field. Uh, being able to help couples along with that journey to me is one of the most rewarding things I think we can do as medical professionals.